Welcome to TCCSYP. I am Mark from the Crystal Chronicles, your weekly to City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia podcast. We record every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Central Daylight Standards Time uh, to bring you all your Dissidia news and talk. This week is episode 100, and we are giving away $350 in $25 gift cards live on stream and then throughout the week through our podcast means. So join us live Find out more about us, tccpodcast.com. Join our Discord, get connected to all of our social media, and learn more about that. This video is kind of a May banner review, plus should you pull, really focused on what I am doing uh, as a content creator and also someone who loves Defo. So I'm going to walk through all of the different banners in May. We just had our Squex mobile stream. Thank you to Joshua and Glacy for that. And thank you to the devs as we're going to get brand new content this month in May. And so we're so thankful we're going to be able to spend, uh, for many of us, our shelter in place, our isolation uh, with Defo and new content. So let's look at the banners, including the banner coming out tonight, which is Awakening Wave 10. This brings us two banners, the uh, kind of secondary banner, because there's only five characters who need to be realized to level 70, is Waka and Cyan with their 15 and 35. So if we get a free pull, it's a Power Stone or a few. Uh, if not, it's an easy skip. The other banner is a triple EX banner with three fairly powerful characters, Shadow, Hope, and Lightning. Uh, let's start with Shadow from Final Fantasy VI. Shadow is uh, a cool damage dealer who has some stealth mechanics, is able to evade attacks. With his EX and EX realization, he gets the awesome friend known to many fans of Final Fantasy VI as Interceptor. And Interceptor comes out uh, and does an additional attack every time you use an action or he dodges an attack. Uh, Shadow has been able to solo some dimensions and uh, with RNG with your side uh, and some decent play skill. Uh, but he's a fun damage dealing character uh, who's perhaps not the most powerful uh, and but certainly is not the weakest. <clears throat> that that brings us to Lightning, who is exceptionally powerful. Of course, she's already gotten a rework, and her level 70 uh, is now bringing her her AA and some other additional power. Uh, but she's one of those characters that has seen rework after rework after rework. With her EX realization, she becomes even more powerful, is able to, again, solo content if that's something that you're interested in. It does take a little bit of skill and time and patience and RNG depending on your situation. Uh, but she has some uh, break mechanics, some free turn mechanics, uh, and just is a very fast, powerful damage dealer. Uh, if you uh, like using characters like Vayne and Noctis and um, Aranea, she has some similar mechanics to that. Uh, she's very fast, very powerful. If you like Lightning, you're not going to be disappointed. If you already have her, you might invest in her. Uh, if you don't have her and have a lot of those other characters, you might feel good about skipping. That brings us to probably, in my opinion, the prize of the banner, and that is Final Fantasy XIII's Hope. Hope is a very powerful support character. Now, before his rework and EX realization in EX, he was a character that was able to give some buffs, some party buffs, uh, and party battery, and also the unique uh, frame buffs, Protect and Shell, which reduced incoming magic and incoming physical attacks. He still does all that, but he is able to do a lot more damage, a ridiculous amount of battery, and give even better auras and support, and uh, extend party buffs even longer. He's got a ton of utility. He is super powerful. Uh, one of the best supports we're going to see for a long time, uh, at least into Arciella, uh, I believe, coming up here in a couple months. So very cool support. If you're looking for a good healer, a good support, um, a good party defense and aura character, uh, he, he's definitely one to go for. Now, if you already have lightning and you don't care about the other two, it is a banner that you could pass. For me personally, I am pulling on this banner. I'm going to use gems and tickets. Uh, hashtag mixing. Don't tell Ink Welder. Uh, but I'll get more to that here after we go through all the other banners. Uh, the next banner is Porum's LC, our little uh, white mage from Final Fantasy IV. She is a great healer, a great utility character. Uh, again, a great aura character who has the ability to basically prevent um, total party kills with her skill too, I believe. So she is a really clutch character, especially if you're not very good at the game. She's a really good character who's able to really help you from um, dying uh, and, and keep you safe uh, from that. Uh, if you are low on healers and support characters, she's a great addition 
addition to that. Actually, we were talking uh, last night, Black Cloud, uh, and Mino and I did a little stream. And this is not a terrible banner for beginning players. You get a great support character in Porum, Palum. Um, I, I do get those two confused, so if I got them confused, I'm sorry. Uh, the uh, White Mage, she's a great support character. The Black Mage, he uh, is a fairly good uh, farmer, even with 15 and 35 CP. You don't get his EX. And then Yang. Um, Yang becomes a lot more powerful, does very significant splash damage with his EX, does more attack. Uh, again, so he kind of gets beefed up to the EX plus era. Not the most powerful character. I imagine a lot of people are going to skip on this. And if you already have Porum, you might realize her. But again, you'll probably uh, uh, not, not need to pull on this banner. But not the worst banner. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of memes about Yang. Uh, but he isn't the most uh, terrible character uh, we've seen in recent EX era. Uh, that brings us to a very interesting banner. Again, another Final Fantasy 13 themed banner, except for Elise uh, is on there for some reason. Uh, and that is Noel and Caius. Caius is a new villain from, well, he's a villain from Final Fantasy 13, a new villain character for us, and this is his event. Uh, Noel gets his EX realization. He becomes... Uh, more powerful. Now, his attack was the highest in the game. It still is the highest in the game, I believe, in Japan, as Black Cloud mentioned last night on stream. Uh, he, so his EX realization does not bring him a lot, but it brings him enough to make him competitive. Uh, he still does all the things he does well in terms of doing a lot of damage that ignores the defense uh, and, and dishing it out well. So if you have a ZX, you might realize it, uh, you might invest in it, uh, or, or just keep him there in case you need him. Caius is a little bit different of a character. He's... Uh he, 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 a lot of, he had a lot of hype in Japan. A lot of people invested in him and felt him underwhelming. He's a, a little bit different of a character. He has a stacking mechanic. He has some very unique debuffs. One of them is Doom, which uh, is an automatic break regardless of enemy brave. Uh, he, he has some uh, ability to survive um, lethal blows, which is nice. And so he's an interesting kit that I'm not going to go into right now because I don't quite understand it as well as I would like to. So uh, if, if you like those interesting characters, who may not be very hyped, but may be uh, kind of those sleeper characters, he may be one of those. And so you might want to sit on that, especially if you don't have Noel and want him. Um, it's not a terrible banner. Uh, I'd wait for the Tom Berry Troop to do their infographic. I know Kreese from the Crystal Chronicles, he's going to pull on this. I think Dreamy's going to pull on this from Tom Berry Troop. Eons, who is a JP player and a member of our community, she really likes the character and has used the character in Japan consistently. So there's a lot of people with some hands-on experience who can tell you that. Uh, for me personally, I think I've already used my books and ingots for uh, characters who are kind of below the radar, uh, particularly Kieran and X Death last month. So um, I I'm going to be skipping on this one, but don't just write it off. That does bring us to Ultimate Diablos, uh, which gives us uh, two banners uh, with four EXs. The first is the repeat banner, which EX realizations we already have, and that is Kuja and Sabin. Now, Kuja and Sabin are both worthwhile characters who can do decent. They've kind of been power crep, but Kuja still does great AoE magic damage. <clears throat> Sabin still does a lot of good um, elemental damage, and of course, Inkwelder from the Tom Berry Troop has made great work of Sabin. But we do get two new EX realizations, including a new EX, and that's Waka and Aerith. Aerith becomes a lot more powerful with her EX realization, although I do think you really probably want her 3-3 because that unlocks her uh, more powerful HP++++ plus 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 and Brave++++ plus 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 attacks, which do a ton of damage and do a lot of battery as well. She also is able to extend her uh, EX uh, Fury brand frame buff for from three turns to six turns, uh, which is very significant. So that party overflow and max rave is going to be up all of the time. So a, a very good, if you already have Aerith, you're likely going to invest in her, at least realize her uh, and use her, maybe even fully limit break her because she is a fairly useful healer, probably the best burst healer we have, great aura character as, as well. The problem with her, of course, is you do need some of those cursed arts, those specific arts, uh, for those few characters that kind of acted as reworks. And so you probably want more uses of Healing Wind at least, and perhaps some stats or some of the other uh, ability as well, Prayer of the Centra uh, as well. So uh, you don't need perfect arts for perfect cursed arts for, cur perfect cursed arts for her, but you do need some uh, a little bit. So uh, come on, talk about what that might look like. Uh, and I'm sure the Tom Berry Tree will have a good recommendation for that as well. Waka, uh, who's been kind of a meme character, although I've liked him and used him, I haven't fully limit broke 
from 15 to 35. He gets a significant boost. He gets even more party support, incredible party battery. His EX batteries, the party randomly, which is kind of fun, uh, gives additional party buffs. Um, uh, and if you fully realize him, he does start with all of his generic buffs. So he does get all of those cool, uh, very powerful buffs, and it's not random. Um, he still has his dark attack, which is able to blind the enemies, uh, and still has that great battery. So he's not a terrible character. He will be useful, probably not the best character as well. I already have Aerith, so I will be skipping on these banners, and I already have Kuja, uh, and I'm not interested in saving. Sorry, Ink. Uh, that does bring us to Sink's LC. And Sync from Type Zero, uh, she is joined by Snow from Final Fantasy XIII. Now, Sync does uh, have an upgrade with her EX realization, uh, but she still has some of the same problems she does. She has to ha rely on her frame debuff called Stun and then kind of build up and, and, and use all of her um, power and then kind of build up again. Uh, so that's she's kind of a tempo character in that sense. She does get a little bit better, a little bit more powerful, but I think a lot of people will probably pass her by unless they're uh, a, a favorite of Type Zero and she is a favorite. Uh, she's doing great damage. She's going to be a good damage dealer. You just have to know how to play her a little bit. Snow, on the other hand, becomes much more powerful and less of a meme. Snow has been one of those characters that has never been good, like Cyan. He's just never had his time in the sun. Now, some people may argue with me he's, he's had some decent times, but uh, for me personally, he's never been particularly viable or useful. With his EX and EX realization, Snow gets a lot more powerful. He's able to reduce all incoming um, brave damage to himself and all incoming HP damage to the entire party. On top of that, being able to heal the party. On top of that, being able to provide some auras and some support and battery. Uh, so he's he's a really good all-around tank um, compared to some of the niche tanks that we've had. Like we just had Galaf, who's really good at um, taking, uh, covering other people and doing physical attacks. He can do magic attacks too, but really uh, thrives against physical attack dealers. Bosh, who deals with AoE damage. Celeste, who deals with those magic types. Zack, again, a very good all-around tank and damage dealer. Um, but Snow is going to fill that role really well too. Uh, and, and if you have Zack, you might say, oh, I, I can skip on Snow. Yeah, that's, that's probably true, but having both of them is probably not a bad idea either. They are both fairly decent characters. Uh, they have some different utilities. Zack is much more offensive. He can target all of the enemies and, and focus them on himself when Snow is just reducing all the damage everyone is taking. Uh, so they both have some unique ability. I am pulling on this banner. Uh, I, I think it's a great banner, and I think Snow's a really good character in this era. Uh, that brings us to our final banner, which is Ramza and Jack. Now, uh, Ramza gets an EX realization. He becomes a lot better. Uh, if you fully realize him, which, which you might want to do if you want to use him, uh, he gets upgraded versions of his attacks. He starts with his buff, so you don't have to ramp up. His EX, just upon realization, uh, adds the debuff, his cool frame debuff, to all enemies instead of just the one you're targeting. Uh, he becomes a lot more powerful, has all those free turns. That really adds up when you're trying to get score, especially those tight turn count fights. Uh, it really does add up. Plus, he's giving all those great auras and those buffs, and he's able to do significant uh, damage and battery. Jack from Final Fantasy Type-0 is a excellent, excellent damage dealing character who has some unique mechanics. His basic mechanic is he empties his entire HP for his EX attack and adds Brave based on the number, the amount of HP he dumped. Uh, and then he enters a phase where he can evade and also regen and build back up. All of his attacks are powerful. Any button you hit with Jack are going to be powerful. He's just a really powerful, and I think he really focuses them more on <clears throat> a AOE damage, I think, uh, but uh, don't hold me to that. Um, he, he's a really powerful damage dealer. A lot of people, again, might skip on this banner because there is a lot of other powerful damage dealers around. But he is one, if you like Type-0, if you like the character, that you're not going to be disappointed on pulling for and realizing fully. Um, if you already have Ram, so this might be one that you're going to skip. Personally, as I already have Ram, so I'm not a big fan of Type-0. Um, uh, no hate for it. Share. Don't 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 at me. Um, uh, this one is one that I personally can skip, but I think one that you might want to take a second look at. Uh, so here's kind of my plan for the month as, as I have it out. Uh, my plan right now. And again, I'm sorry, Inc. I am going to throw 200 tickets at 
that e triple EX banner and then go into gems if I don't get hope. Um, I'd like to have all three of them and I'd feel free. I'd, I'd like to realize all three of them and perhaps even purple all three of them. I think they're all three really cool characters to use. Uh, I'm going to be skipping everything else until snow when I will be pulling for him just 200 tickets. The reason I'm doing 200 tickets is... Because over the course of all my ticket pulls, my average EX per ticket's been around 175 to 200. So I think with this last month, I got a lot of good ticket pulls. So it's about 175 right now. But on average, it's been over the course of time around 200. So I feel like if I invest 200 tickets and don't get the EX, I can move away. Uh, and if I do get it in that or less, then fine. But uh, I really would like Snow, but I don't think I want him enough to pity him, uh, especially with Sync being on the banner, who I'm not particularly interested in using resources on. I have Aerith and I have Ramsa. I will at least book them. I may even get them as well. And that's my pull plan for the month of May. It may change as Dreamy talks me into pulling for Caius or somebody else talks me into pulling for Jack. <laughs> uh, it's all up for speculation. But at right now, here is my pull plan. And I'm pretty good at sticking to those plans. Hey, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. If you watch this again because you watched the first one, uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, the audio on the first one was really messed up, and so I apologize. I'm getting a new computer hopefully next week, and so I'm hoping to be able to deal with this. I may still need a new microphone. Um, uh, so any suggestions on uh, good uh, microphones uh, for the PC, um, I need to talk to a couple of my content creator friends about that. But um, uh, always hoping to have good content. Uh, we're, again, we're not doing this to make any money. Uh, don't make any money, uh, but just enjoy doing it for you. And I enjoy this community and this game so much. Episode 100 is Thursday night, April 30th at 8 p.m. Central Standard or Daylight Time. Uh, we will be giving away at least four $25 gift cards on the show live on the show. So uh, come check that out. If you can't make it live on the show, there's going to be giveaways on Discord. There's going to be giveaways on YouTube. There's going to be giveaways um, for um, liking and sharing on Twitter and Facebook. So go to uh, tccpodcast.com, connect to our social media, get ready for that. You can enter as much as you want, uh, and we will be able to share that all in all because of uh, members of our community, Cyrus, uh, Minyan, and Anthony, we are going to be able to, and all of our Twitch subs, we are going to be able to give $350 away in giveaways, 14 $25 iTunes or Apple Play or Google Play, <laughs> Apple iTunes uh, or Google Play cards uh, or PayPal if you can't do that. Um, and we hope you use those for whatever. If you need to buy groceries, buy groceries. Uh, if you need to buy alcohol, buy alcohol. But uh, we're giving these away as, as hopes that you can take advantage of some of these sales coming up in the month of May, which there will be many. Uh, so thank you. Join us and check that out, episode 100 hype. Uh, for TCC SYP, this has been Mark. Good luck on all of your polls. Make sure you share them with us. Share them on Discord. Share them on Twitter and Facebook. We would love to see your good luck. And we hope we have good luck too. Until next time, goodbye.